Howdy Cowboys, this is the Game Hunter channel with a new episode of Compass Point West. Yes, I received a lot of private messages asking me to please make another video. I think they really enjoyed my first look episode. And um, yeah, you know what, the game is great, so I'm li at least I'm gonna make another video, this one, to give you tips, okay? This episode is dedicated for the new players, all right? I'm gonna give you some tips so you're gonna be successful in Compass Point West, or at least Take the grip, okay? Just start playing the game and understand a little bit more, all right? So really important, two different resources, gold and wood, okay? Wood is, the wood uh, are, are really easy to get. I mean, you need to just chop the trees. That is a really easy way to get those resources. And actually it's critical because you need the space you know, to place more buildings in, the, in your village. And also because that resource is it's critical for you to start building some other uh, structures, okay? So, really important. Keep an eye on that. Chop the trees, okay? Number two, upgrade your farms and upgrade your cabins. Another important thing. Because in all these games, it's critical to have a substantial economy. And in order to do that, you need the prospect cabin because this is the one that generate gold. And you need also the farm who generate resources of wood. Okay, so it's really important to have these two buildings upgraded as much as you can. All right, definitely economy always important. Another way to get resources is come out out of town, see, and you can get some. This is the same style of uh, remember in Boom Beach when you uh, that that's what I'm saying. This game is, is so good because it, it grabs so many good ideas from some other games. That are very successful, and they add in, of course, something else, right? Um, so it's, this is coming from Boom Beach. Remember when you free one of the islands, you're gonna see the natives. They're gonna come and give you some resources. Uh, yeah, in this one we receive gold and we receive some resources also. Okay, and this one, the Bison Rider is really important too. If you watch some videos, you can get some free resources too, chances to win some prizes. All right. So it's really important to visit the traveling show as often as you can. Maybe you just need to wait for a few seconds and watch a video, but you know what? It's completely, completely worth it, okay? So that will cover the part of the resources. Oh, and of course, the bank, important. You need to upgrade the bank, okay? Because at the beginning, when you start the game, you start with 2,000 in gold and 2,000 in supplies or wood. And, um, and trust me, <laughs> you're gonna run out of space so so fast so bank is critical and the other one is the barn okay with the barn is we can store our supplies in there um, and we shouldn't have any problem defensive buildings of course we got a deputy I got two deputies level two okay and uh, when you reach I believe the courthouse level six is when you can um, upgrade um, actually you have TNT Sally available. <laughs> it looks like a mortar, so I haven't been able to see her in action. But uh, it is important also to protect your base, okay? Protect your village, your town. Really, really important. That is crucial in all these strategy games. So, and in this game, there is really no difference. You have to do it, okay? We're gonna start upgrading one of these uh, camps because the bigger the camp, the more psychics you can have. Okay, the more you can have on the battlefield. So it's really important to upgrade the camps as fast as you can. Right now I have three camps. Yeah, and this one is the lowest level. So I definitely need to upgrade that. Okay, so let's move to another topic. The saloon. The saloon is quite important. Because every every time that you go to the saloon, you're going to be able to... Let me see if we can get there. Open packs and get cards. Okay. This is crucial because that's the way that you can get some... Uh, a special unit, special resources, okay? So it's important to come over here and every time that you open one of those uh, basic packs, which are for free, you can get, you see, you can get units or you can get uh, some special card bonuses. Some are gonna help you to increase the speed on the construction. Some are gonna give you some gold. Some other guys are gonna give you supplies. So really important to visit this. And once that you're here, okay, let's get the theme man for now. Um, there you go. Once that you're here, I, need th I don't know if I need the thing, man. It right, doesn't matter. I'm going to take this too. All right. Um, and once that we're here, it's so critical to visit this every two hours. You see, every two hours, you're going to have another basic pack available. 
So you, the idea is to continuously connect and play Compass Point West. That's the best way to get all these rewards. All right, we're gonna open one of these gold packs just to show you how cool they are, and they have some some high level units once in a while. So let's see what we can get in here. Well, we have the rugged team man. Probably we can get the team man. Yeah, let's get this one. Got a gold car in here, and probably oh look at that. Shaman, nice. When the shaman bangs his drum, he calls for healing energy to restore health to the psychic nearby. Perfect, gonna get the shaman. Perfect. Another golden car in there. Let's see. Ooh, the bathroom tin man. And this guy looks crazy cool, right? Perfect. All right. So that uh, that take care of the saloon. Okay. Another important thing is that merge your troops. Okay, merge your troops. This is one of the cool features of Compass Point West. You can merge your troops. Every time that you have four cards of the same kind, you can merge them and get a more advanced troop. So in this case, for example, you see, I got the Rugged Thin Man, which I already saying, I got that little sign saying merge. All right, so first of all, let's go with the regular Thin Man. Okay, let's go over here. And if we merge, there you go. I need to pay some resources in order to get it, okay? Uh, we can get a rugged thin man, all right? But in this case, look at that. We can get, we. Uh, I have four rugged thin men, and I can get a veteran rugged thin man. I mean, a veteran thin man, which is this cool guy. It looks like a Bioshock, right? <laughs> it looks really cool. I'm not going to merge it right now because I don't think I can merge this one. You see, I cannot merge the veteran Tin man yet because it requires the saloon level nine. Uh, but uh, you see, that's that's the idea. Well, you know what? Let's merge this one. Perfect. All right, let's merge this guy. You see, and then all the sign those four uh, tin men are converted into a rock tin man, which is a more powerful unit. Okay, so that's really important. Continuously upgrade your troops. Continuously upgrade your troops. All right, let's go back to town. Let's go back to town so I can show you a little more. Fort, I roll another important building because this one, you see, the fort let you upgrade all your battle abilities. So the more you upgrade the, hold on, over here, you see, we got the battle points. Uh, we can start with the uh, amount eight. If we upgrade this, we're gonna get three more. Okay, let's get this one. Perfect. Uh, what else do we have? Rally flag. Upgrade the level two. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just gonna leave that until there. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna probably upgrade another battle point. Okay, perfect. And if the the more you increase the, I mean, upgrade the the fort, the more hit point the build is gonna have. But the battle abilities are critical on the battlefield, as always. All right. Pony Express, another important building because this one is gonna allow you to explore the map, and the map is this one. Okay. See, there is some some marks with gold in the area that means that the Pony Express can go in that direction and expand the map the higher the level the Pony Express building the farther you're going to be able to travel okay so that is really important and this one really looks like Plunder Pirate I mean it's, it's great the map is huge I mean again as soon as you start playing you're going to see some the best things from Boom Beach the best things from Plunder Pirate from Clash of Clans and plus the best things from Compass Point West, which is most important, right? Uh, okay, so we got the Pony Express. Uh, we have the com combination of cards, merging troops, uh, upgrading the buildings from the resources. Core house, really important. Upgrade your core house as fast as you can because that's going to allow you to unlock some more buildings, okay? Uh, similar to in Boom Beach. So really important to upgrade your core house as soon as you can. Like I say, you're going to be able to get some uh, better troops. You're going to be able to upgrade your saloon faster. Um, so that's another building that you have to keep an eye on there. And of course, the medicine man, me medicine wagon, because this one, the more we upgrade the medicine wagon, the faster the units are going to recover after a battle. Okay. So keep an eye on that. All right. We got, I, I hope you're taking notes because <laughs> I'm already give you a lot, a lot of tips. So let's go into one battle. Uh, and that is part of another of my tips. Explore. Always explore. Scout first. That's the best way that you can analyze the map and see which troops you're going to need. 
or where probably is the best way to attack this base. Right here, for example, we see a, a couple outlaws, a thin man over there, a deputy tower, which is could be trouble. One of the 49ers. 49ers is walking around with a dynamite, which is really uh, dangerous. So we need to be careful. And the oil drill is right there. So, you know what? Let's go. Let's go on this one. All right, so we're going to have our troops ready for deployment. Uh, let's see what we can do first. Probably first we can deploy a... Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We can probably deploy a, a thin man in front with a couple gunslingers. Okay. Now, after that, we can put a Gatling gun because the Gatling gun is extremely powerful against infantry. Now, let's make sure that the Gatling gun is aiming the right target. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're moving good. Uh, the Gatling gun, where are you going, my friend? I think. Probably it's a good idea if we move together. That would be perfect if the rest of the troops are moving together. All right, let me see if the Gatling gun is going to reach. You see, right now it's, it's getting under fire, but uh, let's see if the Shaman is going to be able to heal this troop. Uh, probably, you should probably go back, my friend. There you go. Now the Shaman is going in the right direction. Perfect. Let's put a couple more gunslingers. Nice. So the Shaman is taking care of my troops right, right now. The more we moving forward in a base, now it's gonna be easier for us to deploy units in that got further in the base, right? Right now I got another respawn point and I can start putting some 49ers without any issues and they're gonna start throwing uh, dynamites like crazy and bringing down that oil drill in two seconds. Perfect, yeah, nice, victory is ours. Got some decent probably loot. Um, got three injured, yeah, three troops are injured, but um, that is not too bad. That is not too bad at all. All right. Combining your troops is another key in Compass Point West. Okay. Don't don't expect to just attack with gunslingers. Probably if it's a low level town or base, yeah, you probably might get away with that one. But in general, the best way to be successful in this game is to combine your troops. All right. Combine your thin man with your gunslingers. Uh, oh, okay. Let's go over here. Let's scout. Uh, with your Gatling gun, with your healer right now, we got the Chaman, so we can use that one. All right, so the deployment point is right here. One thing as is guarding. There's a big post of uh, outlaws in that area, which could be trouble. But I think we are probably in good shape. What we can do, we're going to deploy... Uh, yeah, let's attack. Now that I got an idea how they build, I mean, the layout of this hideout it is uh, we can probably deploy one one thin man in there we can probably deploy a gatling gun and a couple gunslingers okay remember the more building we destroy the more points we're gonna have to deploy units okay all right guys take care of this guys please please we're gonna put another thin man in here awesome awesome and we're moving ahead one more time great okay we gotta be careful with the 49ers. I'm gonna try to target these guys as fast as possible because with dynamite, ooh, that could be trouble, my friends. That could be trouble. I think that was probably more than enough. I don't need to deploy anything else because we already take care of the rest. Oh, look at that. It's another guy over there. And he's killing, injuring my gunslinger. So that was really important to take care of that guy right away. And so far, we're doing just fine. Uh, we're gonna, I don't need to go to the other location, to be honest. We they just need to destroy the oil drill, and that will take care of everything. Oh, look at that. The guy is still alive. That's why. That's why my troops are going down. That's why my troops are going down. Let's see if a thin man is going to survive. All right, let's, let's give the order to the troops to go and target this guy as soon as possible. Come on, thin man. And gunslingers. Because otherwise we're going to be in trouble. There you go. Don't, don't shoot each other. I don't know what you guys are doing in there. But I definitely need to... Oh, we are out of command. Oh, that's terrible. That is terrible. Come on, you need to focus, my friend. Because otherwise... Oh, okay. We, are, we can deploy the units in here. But that is not good. That is definitely not good. That guy was able to kill everybody. 
wow, you see the higher the levels of the bases or the hideouts, the more difficult it's going to be for us to to take care of business. So if this hunt Gunslinger hurry up a little bit, we can probably do something. I don't know how many points we're going to get with that one, but I definitely can deploy another... Yeah, I can deploy one of the 49ers to bring down the rest of the building. You should be targeting probably the the oil dream, my friend, instead of the farm. <laughs> but you know what? You can do whatever you want. That doesn't matter. Yeah, nice. Victory sours. <laughs> oh, this game is so great, so great. They have some so many good good uh, concept ideas and everything. All right, let's open. What do we have? Jacob and M. Those cards are also really important because they're gonna help you. Okay, they're gonna help you. To, okay, see if we can merge this one too. Nice. Let's get a rock with four. Perfect. Let's get this one. And now we're going to have a rugged version of Jacob Amen. Remember, try to save this, um, some of these cards, okay, and use them when it's only necessary. Don't, I mean, at the beginning, you're going to get tempted to use it for everything. <laughs> but I strongly recommend you to sometimes you save them. So you can use them only when it's necessary. Okay? Wow. Wow. That that this episode has been really, really entertaining. I don't, I don't know if I mentioned there was some there's some bags of gold in the map. It's similar to in Boom Beach. Remember when you get out of your island and you scout the area, scout the map, you're gonna see some chests with uh, diamonds. In this one is the same case, you're gonna see some bags with diamonds around the map. So it's also important to check the map as often as you can. All right, guys, this is the Game Hunt. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode Tips and Tricks of Compass Point West. I will see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.